Welcome to Shades of Migraine, a podcast series created by the Association of Migraine Disorders. We hope you'll enjoy listening to a wide variety of voices, including the perspectives of people living with migraine and those that are trying to help. Each will share their unique shade of migraine. Teva is committed to the goal of transforming the lives of those suffering from migraine by creating solutions to reinvent the migraine paradigm by placing people at the center of everything they do. You can visit www.moretomigraine.com for tools and resources for living with migraine. Today we hear about a potential migraine treatment that was actually discovered by chance. Surprisingly, the use of a particular glaucoma medication was bringing headache relief to some patients who had migraine disease as well. This medication is now undergoing a clinical trial for use as a migraine preventive treatment. This is uh, Dr. Martin Wand, an ophthalmologist in Hartford, and his glaucoma patient came in and said, I seem to be cutting my fingernails and toenails much more frequently since he started taking Zalatan for his glaucoma. Now, Zalatan, nobody knows what that is, but that's a prostaglandin F2-alpha analog. It's a prostaglandin, okay? Prostaglandins typically are known to cause pain, okay? Prostaglandins are bad guys. So Dr. Wan, the ophthalmologist, says, and he was Yale trained, by the way, and he, said, he was taught that prostaglandins cause headaches. So he said, well, I'd never heard anything about fingernails. Now, Dr. Wand, also a very observant ophthalmologist, he also, in, about 20 years ago, observed that the same kind of drug caused uh, females' eyelashes to grow faster. Now, has anybody heard of the drug called Latisse? So Latisse is commercially available if you want to grow eyelashes faster. It's basically a prostaglandin and is sold by uh, one of the drug companies, Allergan. So I said, well, Dr. Wan, how come you're not rich? And he said, well, Dr. Johnstone in Seattle patented this, and now it's a commercial product. And I said, well, Dr. Wan, uh, you can go catch fish, but I'm the business guy in the back right, and I know a little bit about uh, business, and why don't we file a patent on cause, uh, the prostaglandin that's causing your fingernails to grow faster? By the way, uh, lower right is uh, a, a pediatric uh, liver transplant surgeon from Cincinnati, and my other partner is an ophthalmologist in Boston. So, of course, we're all scientifically trained. Do fingernails grow faster or not? So let's test it. So we did a, Lumigan is the brand name drug, the prostaglandin drug, and we did a study. Got my wife and I, we got eight, we had a big in, there's eight of us now, putting this on our fingernails on one hand nightly before we go to bed. Crazy, right? Not so crazy. The side effect of this drug is to cause your fingernails to grow faster, at least 16% faster based on a, a very small study. And as I said, well, we filed a patent application. So we're catching fish and we're thinking, if this is really right, then uh, one of these companies out there is going to want to license this just like they did Latisse and we'll collect royalty checks and give them to our grandchildren. Well, not so good. So. Two years later, we're back fishing, again on the Manistee River. Our company is called, guess what, the Manistee Partners. These are salmon, by the way. I should tell you a little bit about the fishing, and it's lightweight fly fishing, uh, so it's very, very good sport. But uh, this was bad news. Allergan beat us to the patent office, of all things, by two months. Now, I won't go into the uh, problems with patents and the rest of that, but basically it comes down to the first to file wins. And if you snooze, you lose. So we, we didn't think we were snoozing. We thought Allergan had no idea that their drug was causing fingernails to grow faster. But two months. Yeah. So we're drowning in our tears over margaritas at the Roadhouse Cafe after another good day of fishing. And uh, the, the river, by the way, is in Michigan, in case you hadn't uh, figured this out. And uh, so Dr. Wand 
very observant ophthalmologist in Hartford, says uh, another glaucoma patient presented and had a 15-year history of migraine. And since going on the drug, another word, prostaglandin drug, guess what? The migraines resolved. And we all said, uh, Martin, you're, you're full of it. This is an N of one. This is crazy, right? N of one stories don't ever mean anything. So N of two, Dr. Shingleton at the table, who's an ophthalmologist in Boston, said since he has been doing the fingernail study, sounds weird, right? He's putting eye drops on his fingernails. You got it? <laughs> His headaches go, uh, resolved. He was a migraineur. So, um, and then he did this on-off test. He said, all right, he's, uh, you know, he's a professor at Harvard now, so he had to actually do something scientific. Uh, he's from the University of Michigan Medical School. I'm, I'm a Michigan grad, so I have to put that plug in. And uh, he w did his uh, on-off test. So he'd go three months on the drug, and he had no migraines. And then he'd withdraw for another three or four months, and the migraines would come back. And he did this like four times. And that convinced him that this was really working. So he said, all right, uh, this, is, this just makes no sense. Uh, prostaglandins, like in this drug, are known to cause headaches. But the truth is there's more than one type of prostaglandin. Not all prostaglandins are treated equal. Uh, whether an ophthalmologist would ever make a note of whether uh, if migraines were uh, improved or, or not as a result of glaucoma treatment, it's hard to say. Uh, and I went to Harvard, the leading experts in migraine uh, preclinical studies, and asked them how this works. And they said, well, prostaglandins are involved in pain, but uh, the, the, he didn't have any idea. So I said, but he did give me good advice. He said, uh, this is Dr. Burstein. I don't know if you know Dr. Burstein. He said, well, it's going to cost you guys $3 million to do a preclinical study. But since this is an approved medication, why don't you just do a clinical study on humans and see if the signal is real? So that's what we did. We rounded up about 20 people, asked them to put this on their fingernails nightly. And the data on the left showed that uh, before and after, that's headache frequency. And the answer is, it was a 75% reduction in headache frequency just putting this stuff on your fingernails. Unbelievable. So I show this, is Novartis here? So I show it to Novartis. And they say, well, we don't know how it works. It, and I say, I don't know how it works either. We would like to run a large clinical trial. And Novartis says, well, come back when you have randomized controlled clinical trial data. That's the right answer. I was hoping not to have to run the trial myself, because there's only four of us in this company, right? And we're not infinitely wealthy. But guess what we did? We have started a clinical trial. So uh, time is up. But it's not time up for those of you here in Providence, because you can go down the road to Warwick at the Omega Medical Research Center. And if you are an episodic migraineur, we'd welcome you putting eye drops on your fingernails. <laughs> now, the only hitch is you cannot have artificial fingernails, ladies, OK? And we discourage fingernail polish because we don't know if that's going to interfere with our therapeutic benefit. But let's give it a trial. And if you're closer to uh, north of here, go to Worcester. The site is open. Uh, Dr. Markley in Worcester is enrolling patients. And we're hoping to get this study done by the end of the year. So uh, will it be the big one? I, you know, this is, who knows? But it's an easy test. There are no side effects. And um, by the way, that last set of data I showed you was published by our colleagues from Yale, uh, not at a neurology meeting, but at an ophthalmology meeting. I was telling my ophthalmology partners, there are no migraine people at an ophthalmology meeting. But anyway, that's what we did. 
Teva is committed to the goal of transforming the lives of those suffering from migraine by creating solutions to reinvent the migraine paradigm by placing people at the center of everything they do. You can visit www.moretomigraine.com for tools and resources for living with migraine. And thank you for tuning in to Shades of Migraine. For more information about migraine disease, please visit migrainedisorders.org.